search speed uh, which has helped me most so basically i used to go with the speed videos first basic thing is like speed will give the uh, most like basement thing so the basics we will get to know that after that i'll go there so the understanding will be deeper when i do this so i did this on this are most so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute uh, to dr shruti for scoring uh, aml rank of 4 in mch gynec oncology in any ss may 2020 session congratulations to you, dr thank you so much sir okay great to have you in the session thanks for your time to share your experiences with us and uh, yes. can we know your brief background history from where you started till date what are you have done yes sir sure uh, myself dr shruti i completed my under graduation from uh, bangalore medical college sir and the post graduation from jigmar pondicherry sir uh, i completed in uh, july 2022 after that uh, i did two years of senior residency one year from aims mangalgiri and one more year from aims jodhpur sir very good excellent great accomplishment great achievement great now can we know why gynec oncology when people generally settle with <laughs> ogm as ogmd og to get on to the yes, practice sir. why is a special interest who inspired you what happened can you tell us on that so during my post graduation days i got uh, good exposure to gynec oncology so there was special clinic on wednesdays that is cancer clinic and all the kind of uh, malignancies used to get discussed and i had like got very like deep understanding about the subject and more interest towards that sir so that basically made me to think yes this is like uh, it's a difficult field where all the skills and all the knowledge is required to the in this field so i i got interest mainly because of that sir very good great once you <clears throat> decided to do gynec oncology what all you did what all the preparations had to achieve this top post rank um, sir i basically started from april sir for studying in i so every day i used to give uh, read for 6 to 8 hours sir for initial days like for first 30 days so then after that i i was making time for myself so that i can extend to 10 to 12 hours per day so so mainly during that yes sir speed uh, which has helped me most so basically i used to go with the speed videos first then followed by that other textbook like hackers i have read sir so basic thing is like speed will give the uh, most like basement thing so the basics we will get to know that after that i'll go there so the understanding will be deeper when i do this so i did this on this sir most then last uh, 10 days yes sir i have followed your videos whatever you have told i have done that sir like last 10 days you said yes you have to follow like 14 16 hours day you have to read them then some 2 3 days before you said like to give exams i've given accordingly whatever timings you have told the same thing i have followed that sir yes sir maybe that and all has helped me that sir this sir great wonderful now how many questions did you attend the real exam i attended 79 questions sir okay very good one uh, question you left yes yeah. sir that was uh, that was like uh, number based like i was not aware of that so i just left it, okay now what will be your advice for the future aspirants of mch gynec oncology if you are really interested in gynec onco yeah you you should pursue it and yeah you have to give your 100% efforts if you have read thoroughly definitely you will get it that's this okay now what will be uh, time to thank and what do you want to thank who have helped you from day one till date what you today i am grateful to my parents sir who are always supporting me in this journey and my brother since childhood he is always behind me like yes you can do this that and my husband is like every day yeah you read yes anybody can do it you just read just uh, keep pursuing so so i'm grateful for these people wonderful wonderful so lot of positivity great inspiration to listen to you yes. once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career i am going yes sir Yeah, yeah, kind, kind of like. Yeah, I have got rank sixty-one from NEET also, sir. So I have uh, taken uh, MCH in Gynec uh, Onco Science Jones College, Bangalore. So. So you already there in uh, which college? Science Jones, 
sir, you are already in St. John's right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I mean, what's going to happen for that today? I mean, for your AML4? So, there are only two seats as of now, sir. So, I so you'll wait. That, you'll see what's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or else you're comfortably in St. John's, very good institution. And we once again wish you all the very best and all the success. Yes, sir. Thank as you so much, sir. Pursuing a career already, best wishes to you. Yes, sir. Then I would like to special thank to Dr. Revati Ma'am, sir. Like she, because of her, many things got clarified. She went depth into all the all the things, so so that we can like easily. Any it is difficult if you go like start reading on your own. It is actually difficult, but because of her, everything, even whatever she teaches in this Figo guidelines and all, they she made everything very very easier. So I'm really grateful to Dr. Revati Ma'am, sir. I'll, I'll convey that it definitely they, she'll be able to see this video as well. And yes, uh, great doctor. Yes. Sir. All the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir.